Now, friends, I'm sorry about our technical difficulties, but here she is, finally, <laughs> our guest reader for today for Storytime at St. Mark's, Cora Beeland, who is a recently published new author, and she is going to share with us her book, Pirate Cats, right? Woohoo! All right, take it away, Cora. Yo ho ho, Blackbeard cried. There are rats on the ship. Cat, come! Immediately, an orange fluffy ball of fur leaped onto the rat. The cat, Peachy, took the rat and dropped it into the water. Blackbeard turned his first mate, Scurvy, and said, Your idea to bring cats onto the ship and train them to catch mice was an excellent plan, Captain, Scurvy replied. To be officially welcomed onto our ship, I think these cats need pirate hats. No, 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 Captain Blackbeard explained. Cats with hats? He shook his head. Just an idea, sir, Scurvy bowed. And not a good one, Captain Blackbeard mumbled. However, the cats had heard Scurvy's idea, and they liked the idea a lot. Up to the hold, Peachy yelled. This was where they held their secret meetings. They went to work, gathering feathers, leather, and gold, and other supplies to make the hats. Now, cats, put the ha first hat on me and bow to me. Peachy was obviously enjoying this way too much. The cats looked puzzled, and they just sat there. Never mind, <laughs> he chuckled nervously. The next morning, there's a rat on the ship again. Cats, Blackbeard called. There's a rat. Yes, Scurvy added, and it's a mighty big one, too. When Peachy came in to chase the rat away, he was proudly wearing his pirate hat. Scarvy! Captain Blackbeard yelled, pointing his hook at the now very frightened man. Yes, Captain? Scarvy's voice shook. You put hats on the cat! Captain Blackbeard bellowed. I'll get you! No, Captain, I did not put hats on the cat. Scurvy looked wildly around the ship for help. I couldn't have. You were with me all night. We sleep in the same room. The cat looked angry. When you went to the bathroom, you put hats on my cat. Scurvy wanted to say that they were everybody's cats, but Captain Blackbeard was mad enough at him anyways. Just then, Peachy dropped the rat he'd been chasing at Captain Blackbeard's feet. You, you! Captain Blackbeard shrank back with a disgusted look on his face. Take that out of the ship. Don't bring it to me. He said. But instead, Peachy picked up the rat again and headed toward Captain Blackbeard with the rat in his mouth. The captain began to run away, and Peachy, and Peachy immediately started to chase him. Scurvy! Captain Blackbeard yelled frantically. Scurvy, do something! Help me! But Scurvy is tired of being lost around. Besides, he liked the hat. So he stood there, grinning. Do something! Captain Blackbeard howled. But Scurvy still did nothing. Peachy wouldn't give up. He kept chasing Captain Blackbeard around, rat and mouth, into the ship jail, where Scurvy locked him up. The end. Yay. Good job. Can you tell me, like, what was it like to get published? Um, I found out for my birthday, and I was just like, 
So you didn't have any idea that it was coming? No, no idea. Oh, wow. That's amazing. What a surprise. Oh, yeah. Are you working on another book? Um, yeah, I'm trying to. So did you do a bunch of different drafts or how did you write the book? First, I just like wrote down the title. I just like, I just started writing and I couldn't stop because I kept having, having ideas. And then like, after that, we print, we made it on, typed it on the computer, and then we fixed it up. We like edited it so it had no spelling mistakes or anything. And then we went back again and changed the format sometimes, and like a lot of different things. What what advice would you give to other kids who want to write a book? Well, I mean, I would. Say, just let your ideas go on the paper and don't hold back. It's, that's all there is to it, basically. Anyone can write a book.